Welcome back to GDT Tech Reviews. In this video we are going to do a detailed review and pick the top 5 best budget Bluetooth speakers, 2022. So let us get started and the review based on our studies and small research. If you have any personal suggestion do let us know in the comment section. If you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly use to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. So let's get started. The Sony SRS XB13 is a small, budget-friendly portable speaker. It's the next generation of the Sony SRS XB12, and much like its predecessor, it comes with a carrying strap, so you can easily carry it around with you when you're on the go. While it can't get very loud, there are few compression artifacts at max volume, so your audio sounds clean at louder volumes. It also has a wide sounding sound stage and a somewhat boomy sound profile that adds some extra bass to the mix. However, like most small speakers we've tested, it still struggles to reproduce low bass, so you can't feel the thump and rumble in bass heavy music like hip hop. It also doesn't come with a graphic EQ you can use to adjust its sound. The Sony SRS XB13 isn't bad for music. It has a relatively boomy sound profile with a balanced mid-range that ensures vocals and lead instruments sound clear and present in the mix. That said, like most small speakers, it struggles to reproduce low bass, so you can't feel the thump and rumble in bass heavy music. It also doesn't get very loud and down mixes stereo content to mono, which may not sound as immersive. It can play stereo content when paired to another unit, but we don't test it as this requires purchasing another device. The Sony SRS XB13 is a small, lightweight speaker, with a very similar design to its predecessor, the Sony SRS XB12. The JBL Clip 4 is a small, portable speaker with a built in carrying hook. It's easy to take with you on the go since it's battery powered and easily fits in your hand. It has a somewhat boomy sound profile that can sound a little muddy. That said, like most speakers its size, it struggles to reproduce thumpy low bass. Its around 5.5 hour battery life falls short of the advertised up to 10 hours, which means you may need to recharge it more often, though this can vary depending on your usage habits. However, it has great build quality and is rated IP67 for dust and water resistance, meaning it's certified to be fully dust tight and submersible in up to a meter of water for 30 minutes, so you don't have to worry about it getting wet or dirty when taking it outdoors with you. The JBL Clip 4 is acceptable for outdoor use. It's outstandingly portable and has a built-in hook so that you can hang it on your bag when you're on the go. It also has an IP67 rating for dust and water resistance, certifying it to be immersible in up to a meter of water for 30 minutes. However, it doesn't get very loud, and there are compression artifacts at max volume that can affect audio quality. Also, its battery performance is unremarkable, and you may need to recharge it if you're using it for a full day outside. The JBL clip has a squarish design that can easily fit in your hand. It comes in several colors so you can find a style that best suits your preferences, and it has a carabiner hook built in so that you can securely hang it from your bag. It also has a large JBL logo on its front side, which some users may find a little in your face. The first thing you'll notice when you remove the storm box from the packaging is its small, slim silhouette. It is a slender little device and at only 7.08 by 2.68 by 2.68 inches its footprint is minimal wherever you decide to place it. The main body of the speaker is covered in a familiar black speaker mesh, with the Tribit brand on the front, nestled neatly below the large control buttons. There is a volume plus and a volume button, represented by their respective mathematical symbols in white rubber. There is also a multifunction button between the two. Each button makes a satisfying click so you know you've activated it. The multifunction button has a number of operations depending on the gesture you use. Play and pause is controlled by a single click of the button. To skip to the next track it is a double click, while a triple click will play the previous track. You can also answer calls with the multifunction button. A single click answers and ends a call. Rejecting the call is simply a matter of two presses. Depressing the button will activate your smartphone's voice assistant. A quick spin round to the back of the storm box and you've got the power button. 
which illuminates when the speaker is switched on. Moving down the unit there is a 4-dot battery indicator, below which sits the Bluetooth connection button. Below that is the X-Base button for ramping up the bottom end. Finally, there is the rubber-sealed recess that houses the O-Jack and the micro-USB port for powering up the device. The top and bottom of the speaker are capped with sturdy rubber bumpers, which will protect the speaker itself if you drop it, while also protecting the 45mm branded base drivers that sit at each end of the device. The Anchor Soundcore Flare 2 is a small, portable Bluetooth speaker with multicolored lights. Even with the bass up setting on, it struggles to reproduce low bass, and the upper harmonics of vocals and lead instruments can be dull or dark. Fortunately, there's a graphic EQ and presets in the app to help you customize its sound. It doesn't get very loud, but you can pair it with multiple speakers to amplify your audio across a crowded party. The Anchor Flare 2 is decent for outdoor use. It's well-built and portable, and since it's battery-operated, you don't have to worry about plugging it into an outlet to get it to work. With an over 8-hour battery life, it can last through long days outside. It even has an IPX7 rating for water resistance, though we don't currently test for this. However, it doesn't get very loud, and there are some compression artifacts present when you play it at max volume. The Anchor Soundcore Flare 2 is a fairly small speaker with a cylindrical shape. It's meant to sit vertically, and there's a tight fabric wrapping around it. There are light rings on the top and bottom of the speaker, and you can turn them off if you prefer. You can buy this speaker in either black or blue color variants. The Anchor Soundcore Flare 2 is incredibly portable. It's small and lightweight, so you can easily carry it in one hand. Also, since it's battery operated, you can bring it outside without having to worry about plugging it into an outlet. The Ultimate Ears Wonderbroom 2 is a colorful speaker with a carrying strap so that you can take it with you on the go. It's rated IP67 for dust and water resistance and has an outdoor EQ mode to help boost its bass performance, although we don't currently test for either feature. However, it doesn't get very loud and it really lacks low bass out of the box. It also has high latency on Android as well as iOS and it doesn't support voice assistance. Still, this sturdy and lightweight speaker is a suitable choice if you want to listen to audio outdoors. The Ultimate Ears Wonderbroom 2 is good for outdoor use. This portable speaker has a great build quality with an IP67 rating for dust and water resistance. Its battery lasts just under 13 hours continuously, and it has an outdoor EQ mode, which is advertised to help bass reproduction, even though we don't currently test for this. Unfortunately, it doesn't get very loud. The Ultimate Ears Wonderbroom 2 is made from two-tone knit fabric and comes in several colors, so you can find one that best matches your style. It has very large and visible volume up and down buttons on its front face, which some users may find less than aesthetically pleasing. There's also a matching fabric handle. The Ultimate Ears Wonderbroom 2 has a fantastic build quality. While the knit fabric covering feels a little rough, it's solidly built. It has an IP67 rating for dust and water resistance, and the manufacturer advertises that it can be submerged in water for up to 30 minutes, although we don't currently test for this.